What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about the top 5 best villains in the popular anime and manga series One Piece. From cunning leaders to powerful warlords, these villains have all left a lasting impression on the series. So without further ado, let's get started. At number 5, we have the former Shichibukai and leader of the Baroque works, Sir Crocodile. With his cunning intelligence and devil fruit abilities, Crocodile was a major threat to the Straw Hat Pirates in the Arabasta arc. He was also one of the first major villains in the series, leaving a lasting impression on fans. Although he is practically useless now, because he seems to have no Haki, and as we all know, Haki makes might in this entire series. Now this guy's got a hook for a hand, a bad attitude and a whole lot of sand. He's like a washed up pirate who just can let go of his glory days. But seriously, who needs a hook when you've got a giant power of sand to throw at people? Sorry, that I, I just I, I just can't help myself. That was a bad joke, but but, but who's counting anyway? Although to be honest, his recent activities cement his position on this list, as this man is a great tactician. In such a small time, he was able to recruit the greatest swordsman in all of the One Piece world. And as we all know, Mihawk doesn't really play well with others. If he just possessed some haki, he would be a little lower on the list. Plus, the way he operates is a bit nostalgic to how Golden Lion Shiki operated as well. So maybe Luffy and Croco Boy will have a similar rivalry. And at number 4 we have the former emperor, Charlotte Lin Lin, or as we all know her as Big Mom. Now this lady has a real sweet tooth, but watch out if you don't bring her the candy she wants, she'll throw a tantrum that would make a 2 year old jealous. But again, let's be honest, she's just really passionate about her sweets. And can you really blame her? With her immense strength and ability to interact with other people's souls, with her Soru Soru no Mi, Big Mom is a force to be reckoned with. Her desire to conquer the world makes her one of the most fearsome villains in One Piece. Sorry, I meant her desire to snuggle with men of different races makes her quite deadly, quite, quite deadly. She's really the only villain in the series that made me a bit scared, and I'm not alone because even Luffy was a bit intimidated by her. Ooh, and at number 3, one of my favorite pirates, we have the captain of the Blackbeard Pirates, Marshall D. Ditch, also known as Blackbeard. Now this guy's got a beard that would make Santa Claus jealous, and let's not forget about that horse stealing devil fruit thing. I mean, talk about a bold move. But seriously, who needs to grow their own powers when you can just steal them from others? Okay, now actually being serious, Blackbeard is known for his cunning and brutal tactics, as well as his ability to wield the powers of two devil fruits. He is also one of the most ambitious villains in the series, constantly seeking to increase his power and status. Now really, the only person who might challenge his level of evil is Imo-sama, but this list is compiled according to villains who have shown their antagonist power at least twice. Ooh, now, now, now it's getting interesting. And at number 2 we have the Emperor of the Beast Pirates and one of the four emperors, or well, one of the previous for emperors. Yeah, that's right, we have Kaido. Now, this guy is a real beast, but have you seen his dragon form? It's like he's trying to be a knockoff version of Smoke from The Hobbit. I mean, at least Smog had some style. God, guys, these are some of the worst jokes, but anyways, back to business. With his immense strength and the ability to transform into a dragon, Kaido is one of the most powerful villains in One Piece. He is also known for his cruel and ruthless nature, making him a formidable opponent for the Straw Hat Pirates. And that's why we love this man. And finally at number 1 we have the former Shichibukai and leader of the Don Quixote Pirates Don Quixote do Flamingo. Now, I know what you're thinking. How can a guy with a name like Don Quixote do Flamingo not be funny? But seriously, this guy was a real piece of work. He's got the creepy laugh, the weird bird obsession and let's not forget that whole string thing. He's like if a clown and a puppet master had a baby. However, don't be fooled by your initial opinion of him. He is known for his cruel and manipulative tactics. The Flamingo was a formidable opponent for the Straw Hat Pirates. He also played a major role in the Dressrosa arc, making him one of the most memorable villains in the series. Add on the fact that he killed his brother and father and you have a raving sociopath on your hands. Yeah, yeah man, man's crazy, bro. And that concludes our list of the top 5 best One Piece villains. I hope you got a good laugh out of this. I know I didn't. Who's your favorite One Piece villain? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more One Piece content. Oh sorry, I meant more mossy content.